Today I wanted to show you my new tool I made for roughing. It, it came about quite accidentally because I, li I like to use a uh, square cutter for roughing. I do have a, a bowl gouge, a regular two inch bowl gouge. And I find it's a little rough. So what I found was when I was using my square cutter, I, I ended up turning it sideways roughing to get the point to, to dig in and that seemed to that seemed to do pretty good, so I decided to build build my own point uh, point tool, and uh, I'm gonna call this my, my roughing pointer or whatever you want to call it. I wanted to show it to you a little bit. You can see right over here. I think this is a piece of stainless steel right here. This is where I cut the blank out of. It's three eighths stainless steel, four by four. And it's a six foot length, and I use a uh, use a bandsaw to cut those out. It's a little slow, but it, it works just fine. So anyway, I made this. I'm not going to go through how I made it because it's just, you know it's fairly obvious. There's no need to waste your time. But it's a uh, it's a square cutter. One thing I will say: if you decide to make you one, make absolutely sure underneath here that you have very good support. As far out as you can because these carbide cutters they are brittle and they will break if you get them in a bind and then you got a little sharp flying object going through the air like uh, shrapnel or something and that could be hazardous to your health so that's all I'm going to say about that other than you can see I put my traditional uh, rubber hose handle on it with a void in here it makes it has a little bit of softness to it not a whole lot I do wish I'd have made this about four or five, maybe six inches longer. I said, I'm going to show you. I'm going to build a walnut bowl here in a couple minutes. Uh, I said, I'm going to show you. It works quite well. I do wish it was a little longer. But for the purpose that I built it for, I'm very happy with it. Okay, the other thing I want to talk to you about before I get on to building the bowl, everybody that I've all, not everybody, but almost everybody says these carbide cutters when you got when they get dull just throw them away well I disagree with that I sharpen mine it's a very simple procedure uh, as usual I do things just just a little bit unorthodox from everybody else I use two see if you can see this good enough yes okay I use two stones here this is a, a diamond cutter as usual is from Harbor Freight and here's what I do a little unusual right here that's transmission fluid. I have cutting oil over there at the metal lathe, but I have found that the thin transmission fluid actually works better. It has a tendency not to float your uh, whatever you're sharpening on top of your stone. So I basically, I just put, you know, like, oops, that's more than a dab. I guess that's okay, though. I just put it on here like this and just, you know, use my thumb and do this to it. And it doesn't take too much. You, you can see it's starting to get a little dark in there, which means it's cutting. So I do that. Then I've got a, a smooth stone here. I also use it. So I put it on here and I do the same thing to sort of, you know, do a final deal right there. And it's done. It's sharp. That's all, that's all it is to it. You're done. All right. Let's get on to building a wall, walnut bowl with uh, this cutter. And if you have any questions about uh, stainless steel or anything like that, I'm located in central Arkansas and I have like 20 something sticks of this stuff, six foot long. And I'll be happy to part with some for a you know, modest price. So just let me know, of course, they're heavy and you'll have to pick them up. And I won't sell them all because i got to keep some. I build knives and this, they make excellent knife material. I can get about 20 knives out of one piece, but that uh, takes a better part of a week to build a good knife. And that's why I turned the wood turn in. I like that immediate gratification out of it. I haven't built a knife for a month or so, but I will build some more. Can't lose that skill. Before I start the bowl, I wanted to show you this picture on my computer. That's my truck, and I have a, a very good friend, one of my best friends in South Arkansas that owns a sawmill. 
uh, I guess I'm the envy of almost everybody because I, I can get just an absolute endless supply of turning wood. If you look at the back of the truck, I, that's where I, that's, that's wood pellets there. I get my wood pellets from my stove from him too. He makes those and he makes all kinds of stuff down there. Here's, the, here's my bowl right here. This is uh, American Walnut. I believe you're looking at some holly here. Uh, it's a piece of cedar. That one is either red oak or white oak, and they go all the way down to the bottom. All of them are that size. And I can just get all of them I want. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, this, this is where it's going to start. This is uh, some that he cast aside. Uh, well, he gets a lot of wood that he can't use, so he just sort of throws it on the other side. And when he gets something unique, he, he gives me a call, and I, I get in my dually and run down there. And he has it all cut up, and he even loads it for me. I guess he feels sorry for me. But I usually take him a bowl or a tea light holder or something for his wife, so it, it's not all charity by any means. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show you that before we get on to uh, cutting this bowl.